Hi, I'm Hanbit, and I'm a pastry chef from Korea. Hi, everybody. It's Hanbit here. 안녕하세요, 조한빛입니다. In this video, I'll show you how to make an amazing ice mocha. I have previously uploaded videos on vanilla latte and ice caramel macchiato. So naturally, the next step was ice mocha. When we say mocha in beverages, it basically means coffee paired with chocolate. Obviously, there are different ways of pairing coffee with chocolate. You can use cocoa powder, coffee chocolate, chocolate sauce, etc. But I think the most convenient and a fairly reliable way is to use store-bought chocolate sauce, which I'm going to do today. But using chocolate sauce alone will make it taste like any other ice mocha. But as you know, I care a lot about my recipes so that they taste better than the standard ones out there. The secret in this case for ice mocha is the hazelnut syrup. Having said that, I'll go over the couple of ingredients that I'm going to use today. Here is the Ghirardelli chocolate sauce. It tastes great and I often use it for beverages here and there. It's a very well-known brand and you can buy it pretty much everywhere around the world, especially on Amazon. This is the hazelnut syrup, which is the secret ingredient in my ice mocha today. You can also use almond syrup instead of the hazelnut syrup. The purpose of adding the hazelnut syrup is to enhance the overall nuttiness of this ice mocha. Obviously, this is mocha, so the dominant flavor is undoubtedly chocolate. And the hazelnut syrup is going to play a supporting role. But you know that although it's a supporting flavor, it makes a large difference to the overall taste. If you ask me whether you can make this from scratch, I guess you can. You can make chocolate sauce, and I'm not sure I've never tried it, but I guess you can make hazelnut syrup as well. But for practical reasons, I mean, using the store-bought stuff is great. With vanilla syrup, yes, it does make a lot of difference, but for hazelnut syrup and chocolate sauce, store-bought stuffs are great. First, I'm going to pour the chocolate sauce and the hazelnut syrup into the espresso glass so that I can extract my espresso straight into it. Now I'm going to extract my espresso into the same glass. Have you clicked like and subscribe? I've now extracted the espresso and you can see the chocolate sauce and hazelnut syrup down there. I'm going to mix it well. I'm now going to prepare the ice and milk. Now I'm going to pour the espresso mixture into the glass and you will be able to see why I've added the chocolate sauce and the hazelnut syrup to the espresso earlier. It's mocha, so I'm going to add cocoa powder on top. Look at that. That is my ice mocha. Wow! Because I added in the chocolate sauce and the hazelnut syrup to the espresso mixture, that resulted in the espresso mixture becoming very dense and heavy. So when I poured it on top of my ice and milk, it dripped down the side of the glass, which created this amazing visual effect. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Obviously, I can taste the chocolate. It pairs so well with the espresso. And you can also taste the hazelnut. The hazelnut does more than just add nuttiness to the flavor. It adds complexity to the overall ice mocha, which could have been fairly monotonous with chocolate alone. Overall, it's fantastic. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this tutorial on ice mocha. The secret ingredient was the hazelnut syrup, or you can use almond syrup if you can get hold of it. It's amazing to see how adding another flavor, in this case a supporting flavor, not a dominant flavor, can bring so much of a difference to the overall complexity and the quality of the beverage. I'll continue to work on developing and sharing amazing beverage recipes with you. Thank you very much. Kamsamida.